Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, I'm War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game with single soldier on the highest difficulty. We're jumping right into the action, into the supply raid. I've chosen our Reaper to take care of it. One of the reasons why I am confident that uh, this actually might work out is um, the Reaper currently has a power spike and the remote start ability is quite strong. Uh, that combined with the fact that this particular mission here has the side trip show of force which essentially forces Advent to bring only Advent troops and maybe mechanic, uh, mechanical units um, is very helpful for us, super beneficial because Advent forces tend to have lower hit points than, for instance, let's say, mutants or um, archons, andromedons. Well, probably andromedons are not a thing yet. What happens here, by the way, is typical. As soon as you're moving closer to the mission objective, you will see, yep, that advent forces are starting to converge onto your position yep okay everyone apparently does that now that happens as because uh, the computer is trying to provoke an uh, fire a firefight and normally if you wouldn't have uh, reaper levels of stealth you would be spotted out immediately. Now, for our purpose, what I want to do is I want to abuse that behavior by essentially pulling all of them into a single direction and then hopefully finding something that I can blow up. The more of them are joining us, the better. Uh, this here already looks promising. Out. Yeah, that oh, that's phenomenal. These towers here can be exploded extremely well. Now let's get everyone in range. We could get two or three packs with one explosion. That'll be perfect. As you order, Commander. A patrol is upwind. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Let's position ourselves here. You also don't want to be too far away. They still need to have a chance of somewhat reaching you. Let's try to get those guys here in. We can get the pack here, and all of those here, and those. Oh my god, that will be the best explosion in the history of all explosions. Oh my god, another pack. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Almost all of them. One, two, three, four, five, whatever is back here. Ooh, difficult decision. Let's just get them a little bit closer. One more turn. 
stop, 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 don't get closer. Okay, Ooh. fortunately we're completely cornered. But this here should still be a pretty decent explosion. That was a pretty impressive explosion. Are they clustering up? Oh yeah, there's another explosion right there. Please, yep, hack it. Oh, oh, beautiful. The aftermath of this one is going to be so delightful. Let's not take any risks. I go where you tell me. The only problem is we haven't really heard the mech. Another shrapnel grenade uh, would be phenomenal now. Fortunately, it's not going to happen. Okay, down to like what, two, four, five enemies and one of them is currently burning. Okay, this guy is still burning. Good chance that he's going to die next turn. Oh, 
or not because he stopped burning. So, I need them to follow me, so we can remote start again. The mech is too strong, can't kill them, uh, can't kill it just with a single needle shot. So we will require them to come into our direction. After a few turns when they are just like dizzy, not knowing what exactly is going on, at some point their behavior changes and at that point they are then going to track you down. It's always the same. The AI at some point does not want you to sort it out. so. It uses its information about your position to essentially track you down. I won't let them pass. And we need them to come to the car or any other explosive. Uh, device for that specific case. As long as I can deal 12 points of damage, I'm fine. There we go, see? The mech has figured it out. Now it sort of falls back to old behavior. It has been hit and doesn't know where it came from. Oops, clear with the tower. Careful here as well. Moving out. I will kill the mech next because it's the only enemy that could uh, spot me out. Nice little crit. Hair trigger? No. Okay. Just need to make sure that it does not find us for one more round. Ooh, okay, that makes it so much more easy. Moving up, and we're going to go for the priest next. Tell 
he maybe will have sustenance. I, I really can't do anything against that. In this case, not. Plus, we wouldn't have been revealed either way. Moving into cover. Thirty percent missed chance. Alright, let's go. Nice little crit. We got it! Yes! And we got a tower. That's the best. That is the best part about it. Power equals defense matrix equals I do have a chance of not losing the campaign. And here we go. 20 kills. Good job. Wow. That's pretty impressive. All right, so let's get everything in order. We know that the Chosen are almost done with uh, with their with their um, with their uh, knowledge, so they will attack probably next turn. Can we wait for more days? Yeah, probably we can. Elerium is also good, but we're going to start with the turret breakdown. It's only three days, so let's get the sniper breakthrough and... Nice. So, let's think that through anything else we need to do prior to month end. Hmm. No, I think we're going, we're good. We've got to start with our um, turrets with our defense metrics as soon as possible. So let's give it a go. There is our report, which looks much better this time. Guerrilla operations failed, avatar progress, dark event. Yeah, it's okay. This here is a strong ability. Ooh, she still cannot attack us. That's good. It's armor to the, some of their um, soldiers. Yeah, that's just making them more beefy. 
Chosen are much more likely to occur. We don't want that to happen. Well, Vulture makes an awful lot of sense. I think the shredding piece also could be helpful for our uh, for our Reaper. But the main part, the between the eyes, hasn't yet worked, and we really need to also work on our relationship with uh, both of these factions. Okay, let's check something. Okay, so one more day on to modular sniper rifles. And then we're immediately jumping into the turrets. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Good. Turret breakdown. Turrets, we see We got enough supplies, we can put another engineer here for enough power. Everything should turn out to be really, really good. This will prove to be an important step forward. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely. Ooh, so good. I think no one was ever, ever as happy about the defense matrix as I was. I, I cannot imagine that anyone ever wanted a defense matrix as much as I. Twenty-eight days. Sorry, I gotta get it. Need to get it faster than that. And we will need to upgrade it afterwards. So. Got another high priority mission with a VIP extraction, which we might be able to pull off. An additional scientist wouldn't be bad. 90 intel is good as well. So, a short visit to the black market. And then we can then we can deal with the mission. We can certainly sell you a stock in an expanded magazine. Corpses, I'm sorry, we are keeping them. Unbelievable. We're almost at the, le uh, at the amount of corpses that we need. So in terms of purchasing, we could get alien alloys, which we currently don't need, and alarium, which we currently also do not need. I might still purchase alarium because it is so valuable. Captain Sharpshooter. Hmm. I think we're almost fine. I just forgot we also are currently getting alien alloys and delirium crystals, so that's really working out well. Anyways, we're going to do this in the next run, guys. I am pretty happy that we won a mission for once. I'm going to use the Reaper more often, and hopefully, hopefully we can turn it around. I mean, it's still not looking great, right? Where, like, what one blip before the avatar project finishes? Luckily, two will come off, so we still got a little bit of breathe breathing room. We could make contact here and start um, infiltrating the black side facility as well. Might be a decent time to do that, to be honest. Like I said, we currently have a power spike, and finishing this isn't a bad idea. 
also progresses the storyline. We can sneak sneak run that. We're going to lose, however, as uh, we're going to lose this area against the next retaliation mission. Anyways, I think for today I'm going to call it a night. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in our next episode. Bye bye.